Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, even saving the Council. Humanity has the trust of the entire galaxy. And still, it's not enough. Our sacrifices have earned the Council's gratitude, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Too, because obviously I would.
pretty decent start to the game. Very good visuals as well. Now I'm playing this on the Origin on the Origin. I'm playing this on Origin or through Origin, whatever you prefer. Uh, mostly because the DLC actually a activates there. Um, for some reason, whenever I tried it on Steam, it would never activate. And uh, Come on, Joker. Origin it does. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. She's fucked. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, if we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to. Oh no. That's a rather the weird hell. Dead Space 3, obviously. Just uh, the ship graveyard. I was playing that recently as well. Anyway, your suit's been punctured. Oxygen. Suit's been damaged. Oxygen is vacating. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Anyway, so uh, that's the start of it. And then we are found. Now this part looks incredibly good. It's a bit like Rage, uh, the shitty first person shooter by id. Just the, you know, when they're going into the vault. These little movies, these little animated things, cutscenes look incredibly... I mean this game actually looks really good as well anyway. Commander Shepard has been recovered. Uh, Rage doesn't really look too good. There's was, was popping, texture popping everywhere. Anyway, so they're just rebuilding you. Now I do have some oral problems currently and I'm in severe pain and it's put me in a really foul mood um, so I might be a little short tempered so that's just a just a little thing so hopefully I won't lose my shit but it's really killing me I feel like smashing out the entire left side, left side of my face. Uh, yeah, select soldier. Yeah. Can't change your name, which is annoying because I actually wanted to change my name. Because originally I wasn't planning on using this save file when I did it when I started it on the original Mass Effect. Uh, but then, then I ended up doing all the side missions. Okay, well that's annoying. Reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <sighs> Steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Staff falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Anyway.
anyway, so it's unclear how much time's passed since that. Only just recently. Um, this pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Whoops. That was my fault, I didn't read it. Now, I've changed the difficulty, because um, I kind of breezed through the first game uh, in terms of combat. I mean, I don't really play the game for combat anyway. I play it for the story and the choices and whatnot. I'm going to have to change that. I usually use um, E for everything as opposed to space. That's just me. Anyway, yes. So, um,. Yeah, usually I use E. Um, I usually change it to E. Of course, that, that does lead to a problem later on. I'm gonna go here and hack some shit. So I said, never like this hacking game. Start buying pass, and you've got to match the symbols up. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass for me, I feel. Um, because I imported my update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. Fuck me. And nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Uh, yes, that's all. I wish he'd stop telling me about the fucking previous weapon. Okay, I'm holding X. Here we go. Right, okay, so that's, um... That's that. So that's the start of me losing my temper already. Uh, yes, as I was saying, um, obviously Q and E. Don't just stand there. Usually I use Q and E. Um, some, uh, when I get to the first planet, I'm told to use Q and E to, to 
myself with teammates where to go. But after that point, then I'll change him back to what we used to. Thought you were still a work in progress. So this is Jacob. Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Yes, no, I remember what I was going to say. It's about the scarring. Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Yes, I've decided to play the game on normal. Um, I think it goes easy, hard, and then impossible. Okay. I could be wrong. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Yeah, racist, but everyone anyway. else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. You know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if Check. You... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. 
answers directly to Miranda. Come on, the service tunnels are this way. Yes, so I think they fixed the audio skipping. Long update. The Lazarus project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. Yes, um, so I think they skipped. They. <coughs> fuck me. They fixed the line skipping on this game. Activating. So yeah, these max are incredibly easy to take down, and you can shoot off their arms, their legs, Just keep moving toward the control room. their heads. Don't get pinned down. Oh god, they found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurt. Fortunately, okay, the dialogue does cut off, but I was talking more um, specifically in conversations with people. Fuck spending four billion credits on something and then having it fail. Shepard, down here! Bastard's got me in the leg! We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere until someone fixes my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. So yeah, this is where metagel was, you know, renegated to just a shitty perk thing, which is annoying. As opposed to a use when you're low on health. <laughs> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Well, you could easily show yourself on a leg. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Yeah, I'll keep Shepard. Getting... We need to find Miranda. We keep can't leave distracted. her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. I haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. This guy's Shut real suspicious. You. We can overload the canisters to clear. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, Will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's I mean, your ass, Jacob. I mean, they've got symbols all over the uniform. It's pretty easy program that to tell. You. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the Elusive Man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The Elusive Man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. 
I'm sure he'll be more than happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, the ass. So this one, you've got to look for pieces of code. Uh, so I need to look for a big chunk of purple. That one. And a load of orange. There. Yeah, that's a fairly easy one. Now, I've already got, because I was... I maxed out the cre credit limit on the first game. I got a, a bonus. Some additional credits this time around. <coughs> Let's head off. Get these thermal clips. It's really annoying that they added those in into this game. I can't remember if it's the. Let's get to cover this later. I can't remember if it's this game or the, uh, <coughs> the third game. Where they, I'm pretty sure it's the third. No, it's the third game because it's the one with the clone, isn't it? It's the uh, the Citadel DLC where they added in the the gun from the first game. And that gun doesn't use thermal clips. It uses you know, what they had in the first, the first game, um, just to cool down the heat sink. Whoops! Had the heat sink, and that turned out to be the best gun in the game. Oh, looking for a load of blue. I did just miss it. Fuck! Oh, fucks that one up. Uh, one blue line. I can't find it anywhere. There it is. Oh no, no, it's going to someone else. There we go. That was actually awful. I apologise. Uh, wall safe. Let's have one of these silly things. Now, if you look closely enough, you can work out where where the parts go. So that one should be there. Yeah. If you look at the uh, the circuit board, of course it's just quicker just to look for them yourself. There we go. So sometimes you get things other than the test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Cool. Yes. Fuck me, I keep doing that. <coughs> I keep pushing shift to run because they've, they've completely changed the control scheme on this game. I think they, they really, really fucked it up on this game. Compared to the first game, Through anyway. Here. I don't know what We're the third game's the... like. Miranda, because I, I played were... that one um, console at first. Dead. What the hell are you doing? Shooting people in the face, obviously. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Now, I actually like... I like Jacob. I don't really care much for Miranda. Jacob's a, an improvement over... Well, actually, they're, they're both an improvement over the, the previous humans in the game, but they're still kind Convenient of Convenient that you boring. show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. 
We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Kincaid. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Yes, so anyway, I, I obviously you always play the, uh, the Paragon route. But actually, that's not true. I play... I don't play a specific route. I just choose what I think is best. But it usually ends up being the Paragon route. Um, so obviously your scars heal. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to your scars heal your condition. When you're paragon, Come on, but if you don't, more you're... tests. Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be uh, good enough. It's Renegade. been two years since the attack. Your scars the elusive get worse. man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. And the scarring looks really ask horrific. Questions. If you haven't seen it before, check out uh, a YouTube video or, or or an image, and it is really horrific. His eyes are glowing red. It's that. I can't move the cursor to show you, but it's that from his right cheek all the way across his, his temple, his forehead, I mean, completely scarred. It's quite, quite grim. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad yeah, behind was, uh, to die in Ashley. the blast. So I hate Chief her. Ashley Williams. She's another was racist. In it was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Ambassador Udina for the position. Yes, Ambassador Udina is now Counselor Udina. He's done an admirable job of representing humanity's interests. Not sure he's done enough for humanity, but I guess that's politics for you. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Cool, so off to this other Cerberus facility. And I'm going to... Find the elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Cool. And I'm going to leave it there for this episode. That was the that was the intro. Oh, that was the intro. And we'll um, do it next time. See you later.